Today I will be discussing my experience with YouTube copyright. So back in October of 2013, I uploaded a picture through a video of this figure right here. Someone on eBay had just released a picture and I turned it into a video with music, like when any new set comes out, people do that on YouTube. Um, so I, I did the same. I uploaded my picture of it that I had seen on eBay. I had written authority from the person that I could do it. He sent me an email, said, sure, you can uh, use that picture. Um, but for some reason, right after I uploaded it, it was taken down by YouTube's content ID because it matched someone else's and it matched Brit Queen's. And at first I was like, wait, why did Brit Queen flag my video? So I sent her a PM, I had talked to her before and I said, hey, um, for some reason my video of this figure right here has been copyrighted. And this was back in October. And she replies back, I don't know, I didn't do it. it must have been the automatic thing. Um, so she tried to remove it and because I asked her to because this copyright was going to stop me from doing a lot of things and she couldn't remove it for some reason. So that really stunk and it pretty much stopped me from doing live streams um, or like those little ads at the end of the videos you know that come down after and it's like hey click on this video to watch my next video. It I couldn't do those. I couldn't upload videos more than 15 minutes. Like, a lot of powers are lost when you have a copyright strike. And remember, three strikes and your channel is terminated. So I was really scared that now I got one, maybe my other videos are going to get flagged falsely again. So I didn't want to appeal it, though, or repeal it, because they say if you send a counter copyright back at them and they see that it's not valid, then they're going to send you into court so you know i didn't really want to go to court <laughs> or anything there uh, i know it probably wouldn't have happened at all but i didn't want to have a chance of youtube terminating my channel because they have done that to people um i know other people have gotten a good amount of copyright strikes um sometimes falsely like xx misery xx09 my friend there got his channel completely destroyed and had to move over to his vlogs channel and backup channels and I didn't want that to happen to my channel so I just kind of let it be and I didn't have any like official written pictures that I could use his picture now like who has an official written document that I was legally allowed to use the picture of the new figure um, but YouTube wants that you know because they're a big company that was what I was scared of so I didn't repeal it this was like October 20th so Luckily, with YouTube's new program, after six months, if you don't get another copyright strike, YouTube will actually remove your strike, and that is what happened today. So I am very excited because now I can upload past 15 minutes. If you noticed, I haven't uploaded any long videos, like my Season 5 um, predictions that I did a long time ago. I was going to do that for some of these new things coming out, but I couldn't because I couldn't make it more than 15 minutes. So that was bad. I could have done multiple parts, but that's difficult. It messes with your view count and everything. But I am very excited that now I have the ability. I was thinking about doing like live stream for my 1000 subscribers, but I couldn't because I uploaded a picture of him and it was falsely content ID match. So it was too bad that I lost it, but it's really exciting that now my channel can be up to full use now because I have all my powers back. Thank you guys for watching, and if you've had any problems with YouTube copyright, post a comment below. Okay, see you guys. Bye, y'all.